We love hygiene. We love hygiene. Swan, can we just take a minute? Look how many. If you ever had one of those little baby alien things as a kid. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to another vlog, another day, another vlog. This is my outfit. Look at my bright socks, aren't they just so jazzy? I thought I'd actually put some effort in today and wear a little dress, although I'm just at home. I've got Primark socks, Primark tights. This dress is from ASOS, it's from a brand called Daisy May, I want to say, but it's a really, really cute little dress. I love it, I love the pattern. I've got this necklace on from, is it going to focus? There we go. I've got this necklace on from Claire's. Claire's. And then I've got this cute little necklace on from Primark, which I love. But welcome to another day, another day, another vlog. I've had a really productive morning already. It's still pretty early. I always start the vlog really early, but I woke up even earlier than I normally do, which I don't even know why. I don't even know why I woke up earlier than what I usually do. And I got in the shower and washed my hair, as I'm sure you can see. Although I have missed a massive strand here so that's straight and the rest of my hair is curly so that's very annoying i got up we thought i'd wash my hair get all ready for the day and then i thought you know what i'm actually just gonna have a makeup free day today so i'm not gonna wear any makeup i've not even done my eyebrows they're looking a little bit shabby the only thing i'm gonna put on is lip balm and i'm gonna do some face masks and eye masks throughout the day i'm feeling quite positive even though last night boris literally put the uk in lockdown we are literally only allowed to leave the house if we are shopping for essential goods so food or medical things. Um, I don't even know why I'm running through this because I think majority of my audience are from the UK so you'll all know it anyway but basically we're only allowed to leave the house for essential things and if you are a key worker, so if you work for the NHS, the police, blah 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 blah. So if you're a key worker you can still go to work however I am not classed as a key worker but I can work from home anyway so yeah just the usual standard. I'm working from home just as everybody else seems to be as well. When I woke up this morning I had to remind myself that I wasn't in a dream. Like it just feels so weird it feels like i don't know it's very non british to be kind of controlled by the government and be told what to do it's very well it's just very weird and i don't think it's ever been done in the history of well certainly my mum and dad's lifetime yeah it's just so weird it's just so weird i've written my to-do list for today so here yeah. Oh, I've actually got quite a bit to do today with work, which is good. It's exciting to have bits and bobs done. And especially when you're in the mindset that I'm in today. I don't know why I've woken up so positive, but I just have. Whenever I find one of these in my bedroom, I can never resist just brushing through my eyebrow hairs. It's just so satisfying, isn't it? Anyway, sorry. What a diversion. What a diversion. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all feeling okay today. I've had a few messages from you guys saying that you're feeling a little bit weird this morning. And I totally get that. I mean, we've literally been told we're allowed out of the house once a day for our exercise. And I will definitely be utilising that. Like, I'm 100% going to go out on a walk every single day. I've not put any fake tan on or anything this morning. So I think my face is looking a little bit pale. Um, but totally fine we don't need to be looking all tanned and fresh do we at the minute because nobody's seeing me anyway happy tuesday let's go wow 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 i am having some wholemeal pita with some hummus for my lunch oh my god look at that You know what? Pitta and hummus is the nicest little snack slash lunch ever to exist on this planet. It's honestly just unreal. I enjoyed that little pitta and hummus so much. I am now here with my skincare collection. I've got everything in this really cute, um, oh, am I going to hold it? There we go. Really cute, like, rattan basket. It's so beautiful. It's from Primark and I love it so, so much. I thought I would pick a face mask and just share with you guys what's going on with my little skincare collection right now because I've got so much stuff in there and it's just all very, very exciting. And in this time of deep sadness for so many people i thought i'll bring a little bit of light bring a few face masks you know i've got a little bit hyper i think it's because i've been eating these as well i had some um belgian milk chocolate and salted caramel rice cakes after the hummus and they've sent me a little bit hyper to be honest but it's all good it's all good i will show you from this angle what i am currently facing i've got um some bits and bobs out there which i literally just took off the top and here is the current situation i think i've shown you this before like this kind of skincare collection however i have done a little bit of organizing since then my skincare collection is in here but there's also some other bits in my wardrobe so maybe i should do like a skincare clear out video at some point but anyway yeah oh my god what's that is that a little lip balm oh my god guys if you watched my vlog 
vlog the other day, I have been using a really bright pink um, Dr. Pawpaw. I'm just trying to find it. Where the blooming hell has it gone? Oh my god, I've been using this Dr. Pawpaw bright pink lip balm. You can also use it as like um, a blusher as well. And I was like, oh my god, it's the only lip balm I've got. Oh my god, my lips are so pink, but don't judge me. And then I've just found this, which is clearly not a colour. This is the original fragrance-free Dr. Pawpaw balm. What on earth have I been using bright pink for? What an idiot. But yeah, how cute is that? But yeah, I'm going to choose a face mask. So I thought you guys could help me out, you know? And when I say help me out, I mean just be here watching this video while I choose. Literally, look how many. Is that the end? That's the end, thank God. I've got some at this side as well. Oh my God, look at the amount of nose strips I've got. BR, BR. These are from Poundland. Me and Ben literally love doing them. They're so much fun. But yeah, anyway, these face masks are going to be for a future video. Look how weird that looks, guys. So weird. I bought them last week for a video that I want to do in the future, but for now, let's take a look at all these face masks. Oh my god, that is actually insane. All these soap and glory ones are from Christmas because I got a big multi-pack for Christmas, which was insane. I have actually got some to genuinely use up. I'm just going to bob them back in because I know that they're probably not got what I'm going to be using today. But I literally bought this like last April, I think. I got that one in August. The reason why I can remember all these Sephora ones is because I remember buying them on holiday. See, I've still got some products left over from some videos that I've been doing, like the testing Primark video and then the Poundland video. I've still got some bits and bobs left over. Holla and Glow, oh my god, these face masks are so cool. Every single Holla and Glow face mask has got like a pattern on it. They're so pretty. I actually got gifted quite a lot of Holla and Glow products a while ago. Oh my god, I've put my bright pink socks on by the way. Let's move that dirty little sock out of the way. <laughs> oh my god, look at that Holla and Glow one. It's got little donuts everywhere. These are so cute. I think I got gifted like loads at one time, so I still got three left. Look at that one. It's like a space one. How cute. Oh my god, this one is one that I got from Thailand last year. I've not used it. I think it's because I've been a bit scared to use it, to be honest. Oh my god, yeah, I should probably try that one at some point because I've had it for ages, but it says bird's nest mask pack. What does that mean? Does that mean it's made out of bird's nest? The thing is, because it's all in Thai, genuinely have got no idea what this means. What is that? I think I'm going to leave that one for today. And then when I've got more time and I'm kind of going even more delirious when in self-isolation, I will probably just Google translate all the back and see what it actually means and see what is in there. Oh my God. Oh, I got that for Christmas. So that's quite a new one. I'm just trying to not use my newest ones because I kind of want to use the ones, you know, that I've had for ages. Oh my God. I cannot remember when I got these. These are like little golden eye pack. Oh, it says Boohoo on it. Oh, these were gifted then. It says Dark Circle Gel Eye Patch. These look so weird, don't they? I'm going to leave them out because I feel like trying them. Tea Tree with Hazel Peel Off Face Mask. Literally got no idea when. I bought that. Maybe it was a gift. I literally can't remember. I couldn't tell you a thing. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I got this just after Christmas in a really, really good Garnier face mask deal. And it's one of those ones that you take the face mask out, dip it in what is the liquid in the bottom. This one's vitamin C. How cool is that? I'm actually very excited to try that because I've literally not used these yet, you know, like with the two parts. So I'm very excited for that. Golden peel off face mask. I think this might have been in a glossy box, to be honest. Oh my God, I got this one not so long ago. This is a glam glow eye mask. How cool is that? This was definitely inspired by Rebecca who watches my videos. Hi, Rebecca. I know that you'll be watching, Rebecca. I know you'll be watching. Rebecca is one of my amazing friends slash viewers of my YouTube. We literally met through YouTube. She literally just watched my videos and now we're like really good mates and we talk like every day. She's obsessed with Glam Glow products and to be honest, she completely inspired me to get this. I can't even remember whether I've told her that I've got this. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I can't remember. I can't think why I wouldn't tell her, but there must be a reason. But anyway, yeah, Glam Glow eye mask, amazing. Love it. Very excited to try that. Hmm, what am I gonna try? I really wanna try these eye masks. Should I try them? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll try them and I'll put a face mask on tomorrow. I feel like by the end of quarantine, I'm literally gonna have used all of my skincare because I'm literally gonna have nothing else to do. That is how lame my life is gonna be. Oh my God, and this as well. I really wanna try this at some point. It's the Shake and Shot Rubber Firming Mask. And when you put it on your face, that is what it looks like. Like, how weird is that? So weird. I'm excited though. I don't think today is the day that I'm gonna try it because it's just like a 
normal working day, working from home day, and I'm not feeling, I don't know, I mean, I said I was feeling hyper before, but I don't think I'm feeling quite that creative and hyper. I'm just gonna go with the gold eye mask. Let's try it. I'm gonna just bring the lighting down a little bit. How weird is this? They literally come in like a tray. Oh my God, where are they? Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my god, all the friggin' water, liquid has just fallen out. Oh my god, guys, what the hell? Let me just move so you can kind of see what the hell is going on. The eye mask is like stuck to the top of the packaging. Okay, there we go. There we go. This is what they look like. Okay, here goes. Ooh. Oh my god, I think I've put it on the wrong way. Have I put it on the wrong way? Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right, guys. What is going on? Right, okay, I'm going to try the other one. It doesn't tell me what side to put it on. Do you guys ever do this where you think you've put the eye mask or the face mask on the complete wrong way? Like, I'm seriously thinking, like, what am I doing? Oh, my God, have they got some sort of weird effect going on? Look how it changes in the light. <laughs> what is going on? How weird are they? I think I've put them on the wrong way around. I'm sure this shininess is meant to be on the inside isn't it the thing is the thing that's confusing me is that it feels the same on both sides of the eye mask so i'm like have i put it on right i don't know i probably will never know because it's not got like a picture or anything to show me it says to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes so that is what i'm gonna do that is what i'm gonna do ladies and gents okay it's officially been 22 slash 23 minutes and i'm gonna remove the eye masks They've, to be honest they're so thin that I've literally forgotten that they were even there. Wow, what a weird face mask that is. Normally, I feel like when you take face masks off, you have to rub in the excess moisture, whereas these, definitely, you do not have to. I feel like they've not really done that much. Do you think they've really done anything? I don't feel like under my eyes look any less baggy slash any better, but I mean, it was fun to try them, you know? I probably wouldn't recommend. Oh, look how weird they've gone in there. Should tell you what the texture of them is like. If you ever had one of those little baby alien things as a kid, that is what they feel like. Like alien. It's really weird. Um, hey ho, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it's actually a really beautiful day outside, so I'm actually really tempted to sit in the garden with my laptop. I don't know whether I'd end up sunbathing though. Maybe I would, because it's really, really sunny outside. Although sometimes it is a little bit deceiving, isn't it? Because it looks really sunny, but it's actually not that warm. So I might go outside and see what it's like. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Here is today's outfit. I've got these amazing, amazing trousers on from Nobody's Child. They're just so comfortable. They've got an elastic waist as well, which is an amazing little feature that makes me so, so happy. Also, that's amazing, is my t-shirt. This says females of the future. Don't know if it's gonna be the wrong way around for you. Don't really know how cameras work. Yeah, it says females of the future because well, let's be real girls, I am a female of the future. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm so weird. Let's stop. But yeah, these trousers are amazing I just want to give them another little shout out because I love them They've got huge pockets a little drawstring as well, which makes them just amazing I just love them so so much and I've also got some fluffy socks on these are from Primark Obviously my bedroom is looking a little bit of a mess right now because we are putting new bed sheets on So yeah, my room looks a little bit messy I literally just walked upstairs and my bedroom was like this and I was like right okay We're changing my bed today then but yeah, I put a little bit of makeup on as well In fact, I'll turn the camera around so you can see me put a little bit of makeup on today Today. I've just put some skin tint on from Glossier. Glossier. <laughs> Glossy here. On a little bit of concealer, a really little bit of powder, a little bit of hula bronzer, um, which hasn't really made much effect. And then I've also got a cream highlight on, which is the Bare Minerals one that I got in a glossy box. I think this was in a glossy box anyway. Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow. It's also on my eyelids as well, which I think you can kind of see a little bit more. Um, I literally just put it everywhere. I've got the Glossier. Oh my God, I've got a stray eyebrow hair there. Um, glossier eyebrow stuff on. I've used both the micro fine pen and the brow gel as well. And then I've got the Glossier lip gloss on. I've literally gone for the most natural makeup look ever today. I don't even look like I've got anything on. Oh my god, and I've got mascara on as well, obviously. This is just the Primark one that's three quid. It's the, um, what is it? Two Faced Better Than Sex Dupe 
and it's amazing. I would highly recommend. This is the current situation. I'm just feeling more positive today. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because the sun is shining. I mean, to be fair, the sun has been shining all week. I don't know. I'm just feeling particularly good today. Whoop, whoop. I think it's because we're kind of at that point where we're on lockdown. This is as bad as it's going to get, I think, unless he makes the rules even more strict and you literally cannot go out for your one form of exercise a day. You know, unless it becomes more strict in that sense, I feel like we're at the worst now. Obviously, the death rate is gonna get a little bit worse they think anyway they think it's gonna peak in about three weeks which is obviously horrendous and it's just awful you know that this is happening i do feel better in myself knowing that we're not getting these daily updates and things are getting progressively worse and worse and worse even though they kind of are it doesn't feel quite as bad because we're on lockdown i hope that makes sense i don't want that to sound like in any way offensive to anybody who is you know maybe going through coronavirus Corona, little, <laughs> coronavirus. You know, I don't want it to seem bad or anything, but I do personally feel a little bit better knowing that we're not getting these daily updates from the PM. Like, hello, you cannot go to a bar, you cannot go to a restaurant. Kind of feels like, well, we're at the worst point now, so. Yeah, anyway, in our house, we are taking measures to another level, another level of strictness, because both my mum and dad are classed as key workers. So my mum has actually got this week off work, so she's not going out of the house. She's just self-isolating with me. But my dad still has to go to work, unfortunately. His job involves going back and forth to London. <laughs> love that yeah because he's classed as a key worker we've literally got somebody going to london coming in and out of our house which is a little bit scary obviously he takes things really seriously and he is very very clean it still feels kind of weird that i'm self-isolating and i am lucky enough that i can work from home and both my mum and dad are classed as key workers and have to go out of the house so yeah when my mum's back to work next week there's gonna be only me who's in all the time so yeah that's gonna be weird obviously it's unfortunate that they're both key workers but they've got to do what they gotta do um they're both providing really key services for all the key workers so like my dad works in transport i'm not gonna say exactly what his job is i think i might have even said on my youtube channel before what his job is but he is in transport basically so he needs to keep going for like nhs workers getting them to work and other key workers so so yeah it's gonna be a bit weird for me from next week basically it's gonna be really strange because i'm just gonna be in the house on my own a lot of the time and i don't love being in the house on my own the thing is when i've been in the house home alone before i don't mind like i'm absolutely fine on my own in the morning through till about 6 p.m and when it starts getting dark i'm like no i need a bit of company now yeah it's gonna be a bit weird for me next week i'm gonna be vlogging a lot more because i'm gonna need some more company I don't know whether to do proper main channel videos that have like vlogs and stuff I don't know whether you're gonna want that instead, but I think I'm just gonna see how this week goes I'm just gonna keep daily vlogging this week and just yeah, see how it goes see how it goes But anyway, yeah I wanted to tell you about the extra measures that we're taking in our house to make sure that we're extra hygienic We've all got our own toothpaste me and my mum and dad We've got our own tube of toothpaste and I've actually left my toothbrush in the bathroom But I've got my toothpaste my face cleanser and my toothbrush in my room so as soon as I brush my teeth, I literally just put everything back here. Oh, oh, I've got hangers. Went a little bit crazy. Yeah, I've got everything that I'm going to be using a lot in my room. We've all got our own little hand towels, obviously our own body towels, but yeah, we're basically only using our own stuff and we're not using each other's. I don't think it matters quite as much doing this kind of thing if you're all self-isolating in the house all the time because nobody's going out to like get germs but i think because next week my mum and dad sorry i've not put my earrings in today so i'm gonna do that while i'm talking to you but yeah because my mum and dad are both gonna be going out of the house because they have to i think it's important that we all just be as hygienic as possible basically hygiene central here in the Turner household. It's just sensible. I just think it's good to take stuff seriously and be as, you know, sensible as possible. So that's what we're doing. That's the situation. We love hygiene. We love hygiene. So yeah, got my little clip on earrings in just put a few rings on these are all from primark obviously i think i might start investing in some actual proper jewelry that costs more than three quid because i wear it a lot but for now while we can't go to the shops these will do anyway i'm gonna crack on with the rest of my day i hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far i don't actually know what i've done i can't even remember what i did two days ago days are just going like really quick but they're also really long at the same time it's really weird so yeah anyway let's crack on with the day oh my god was that a rhyme so yeah anyway let's crack on with the day oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Okay, self-isolation, making me go crazy. Hello. Look at these beautiful flowers. Let's just get a close-up. 
Wow, how beautiful. I love this vase as well. It says flowers from the garden. And they're obviously not from the garden. They're fresh from Tesco. But these were my mum's mother's their flowers. And they're so beautiful. They're just glistening in the sun. You might have also spotted the Aldi hand cream we've got here. We've got a little bit of anti-back soap. Love that. Well, I am feeling very positive right now. Just about to make myself a coffee. I just need to pick a little mug out of the cupboard. Don't know which one to choose. This is literally the dilemma of my day every single day I don't know whether to go for the little chicken one or this one can we just take a minute sausage dogs on it love that the only bad thing about this is that my coffee wouldn't fill that and it's such a big mug in fact do I care no you know what I'm going for it I'm using the sausage dog mug why the hell not I'm just about to make myself the second coffee of the day get the milk going um but yeah because i woke up so early this morning i had my first coffee at like seven i think and then now it's quarter past 11 and i'm having another one yeah i'm feeling all positive the sun is shining through in the kitchen it's beautiful i've got myself set up at the dining table here i've had a such a productive morning this morning it's been so good i've got loads and loads done which is fabulous it's actually quite chilly in my house so i've got my summer dressing gown on which is just like a short one that i love a lot my parents are outside cleaning the garden furniture if you can see them through there so yeah it's all good in the hood i think my mum says that everybody in the country sorry this is actually quite loud <laughs> my mum says that everyone in the country is going outside at 8 p.m tonight and clapping outside the door for the nhs workers i'm saying this looking a little bit confused because i am and i'm not sure if my mum's just like seen it on a website or facebook but i think it might be like a national thing and everybody's gonna go outside and clap for all the amazing health workers that are literally putting their blood sweat and tears into helping everybody right now because they are doing such an amazing job and to be fair they do deserve all the recognition so yeah i think that's what's happening tonight but i obviously want to put this vlog up tonight at seven i'm so determined to get this vlog up tonight honestly you do not understand i actually missed uploading yesterday even though i was feeling quite down thought like oh my god i'm like letting people down by not uploading and i know that's not a good attitude to have that's genuinely how i felt so oh my god look at that latte spoon i <laughs> love that but yeah that's how i felt last night so i really want to get this vlog up tonight for you guys so you've got something to watch plus it's a two day so it's a long vlog which is always good oh my coffee is made See what I mean? It doesn't fill the actual mug, but it still looks pretty cute, doesn't it? I'm just gonna stir it with my little Mr. Tetley's teaspoon, which is beautiful. Second coffee of the day. Always good to have two a day. Cheers to self-isolation, quarantine, UK lockdown. So I'm gonna carry on with a bit of work after my two minute vlog break. Look at this setup dreamy i've got the beautiful heat from the conservatory coming in i've got the heat coming in from the windows i've got a coffee i've got a bottle of water i've got motivation and positivity from within so i'm ready to crack on do a bit of work and then have a lovely little lunch i had such a healthy breakfast this morning i had scrambled eggs and spinach unbelievable it was actually really good we had quite a lot of spinach to use up so i was like you know what i volunteer as tribute volunteer as tribute to eat it up and it was very healthy and actually pretty good so yeah happy days all is good in the hood anyway gonna get on with some work and i'll see you guys in a bit you know what i've not even had any sugar today i've just had a coffee and i'm about to drink my second one and i'm already really hyper so i'm like why am i even drinking another coffee don't know, gonna get so hyper, but it's all good, it's all good. camera love that i'm just really quickly gonna take my makeup off because i'm getting a bit sweaty as you can probably see i don't know if you actually can but i thought i'd show you this while i've got the chance because i said maybe at the start of this vlog how good it was it's the kiko cleansing eyes and lips oil based um cleanser i literally just put a little bit on a cotton pad i should be using my reusable ones i know but just for the purposes of this really really quick demo i'm gonna just use a you know 
what's it called? Disposable one. But I literally just put some on there and then I just really gently wipe away my mascara and what is highlighter on my eye at the minute and it just takes everything off to the point where I wouldn't have to cleanse after to get every little bit off. Like just this alone takes everything off, which is so, so good. I just wanted to show you so then you could see literally I have used not even a full oval cotton pad and it's taken pretty much everything off my eyes. I know there's still some of my actual makeup left on, but I'll take that off using just normal micellar water. Pretty much all my mascara has come off. Can't get any more off now, which is so good. I don't know how much it is from Kiko. I can't remember exactly how much it was when I bought it, but it wasn't really that expensive for how good it is anyway. You can use this all over your face, I guess. It just says lips and eyes, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't use it for your full face. I just find oil-based cleansers to be a little bit much for my sensitive skin, so I just use it on my eyes and it works really well. So then I'm just gonna use this charcoal micellar water to take the rest of my makeup off. I do go over the oil just with normal micellar water so then my skin isn't left all oily. Literally just taken all my mascara off without having to cleanse which saves a lot of time. If you're in a rush then I would recommend using some sort of oil based cleanser to take your makeup off and jobs are good in. I am absolutely knackered. Oh that'll be Ben. That'll be my little baby Ben messaging me. Oh my god it is. He's put oi how are you? <laughs> I think I'm gonna FaceTime him now. He usually makes me feel a bit better and end the vlog here. I still need to edit this vlog and get it up tonight. I've got three hours to edit and get it uploaded and do a thumbnail so I love that for me. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you didn't mind that I didn't upload yesterday. Nevertheless I hope you enjoyed today. If you did be sure to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you probably tomorrow at 6pm or 7pm for a new vlog. Bye guys!